Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jay. I'm going to be giving you guys my top five picks for guns this season in Warzone. Um, these are just the guns that I've found to be the most consistent for me. I've been slaying out pretty heavy with these. And they're also the guns that I'm noticing most players in the MFAM tourneys, the big kill tournaments like that using as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through five in no particular order. Just give you a brief description of kind of what makes the gun good. Uh, maybe some of the weaknesses on the guns and then also pop up the attachments that I'm running and the attachments that I think are best on the gun. So you guys can start running them as well. Also, guys, I do want to mention before the video starts, I'm going to be doing a $25 PayPal giveaway on the channel. That's going to be on this video. So in order to enter that, you just need to be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment. So maybe comment down below what your favorite gun in season five is so far. And final thing, guys, I do stream on Twitch every single night, 9 p.m. Eastern. That's at twitch.tv backslash TV. Would love to see you there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right. Peace. All right, guys. So first gun on the list is the Kilo. This gun has been rising in popularity for the last, I'd say, about month. It's a very, very consistent gun. Now, a lot of people don't like it because it's got a little bit of a slower fire rate. But if you look, I mean, look at how accurate this thing is, boys. I'm hardly controlling that accuracy at all. As soon as, as, soon as you slap a VLK on this thing, it doesn't jump at all. Now, another slight downside to the gun is the damage is a little bit low at times, but the headshot amplifier is a lot higher. So if you can seek a headshot or two in with this gun, you will be melting people. And it still does good damage to the body. It's not that it's bad, but with the lower fire rate, um, it just takes a little bit longer to kill on body shots than something like maybe a Gra or an M4 would. I'm going to pop the attachments up on the screen right now, I guess, that we're going to be running on this thing. The Kilo has been very consistent for me. I've seen a lot of the big kill uh, players running this thing, and you really can't go wrong with it if you set it up the right way, boys. Absolutely would recommend trying this out if you haven't already. All right, guys, so next on the list, we've got the Grau. It's the tried, the true. Uh, just about everybody was running this thing a couple of weeks ago before it got its nerf. Um, but I would say, honestly, even post nerf, it's still one of the top guns in the game, if not the top AR in the game. Uh, it's got the best iron sights, in my opinion. You can just see everything in these. The ADS is uh, quick, clean, very easy to see your target, even at long range. The recoil is very, very easy to control if you got the right attachments. So I'm going to pop those up on the screen for you guys right now. And you really just can't go wrong with this gun. I think it's a very good running gun AR. Now, the main drawback to the Graw is its close range effectiveness is definitely lacking. Uh, it's kind of always been the main problem with the gun. So you need to make sure you're pairing this with something strong, an MP5, guys, maybe close range, or another gun on the list that I'm going to show you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so this is kind of the secret sauce that I've been running as my cr uh, close range weapon lately. Uh, I know some people have caught on to it, but a lot of people have still been using their fouls as long range weapons from what I've seen. Um, I've actually adopted this to become kind of a replacement for the SMGs at the moment. Um, I found that the foul with that recent buff is just insane. The time to kill up close is just ridiculous. It's replaced my MP5. It's replaced my MP7. Um, and I've pretty much been running this as my SMG on all classes. I'm going to pop the attachments up on the screen for you guys right now. This is how we're running it, which allows us to get a little bit more mobile because like I said, we are replacing, this is our close range weapon. We are replacing our SMG with this. So basically what we've gone for with this foul is just ADS speed and movement speed. We were pretty much just going to be swinging around with this two, three tapping people and dropping them quickly. This gun is an absolute beast up close, guys. You have got to try this. If you've not tried my setup yet, give it a shot. All right, guys. So number four on the list is the infamous Bruin, man. I know we all hate this gun, but it has got to make the list. It is easily the best gun in the game right now. Um, I'm so sick and tired of every single person in Warzone running this thing. It is an absolute beam at every single range. Um, if you guys haven't tried it out, I don't know where you've been, but you got to try it out right now. I'm going to throw the attachments up on the screen for you now. You can see what we're working with. Um, now the way that I run my Bruin is slightly different than most players that I've seen. Most people run, run the 26.8, uh, inch barrel. I've actually dropped down to the 23 inch. I found that the recoil and the damage range that you lose is basically negligible um and so i benefit quite a lot from getting the movement speed and the ads speed from the shorter barrel because i use this as a replacement for the ar and i play a very run and gun style so now if you don't play run and gun you sit back you play a little bit slower then by all means keep the 26.8 but if you like to get a little bit more aggressive try out the 23 i'm telling you you're not going to regret it all right guys so the fifth and final gun on my top five list for season five currently is the hdr this is my favorite gun in the game. I wanted to cover a little bit of everything. So a SMG replacement, a couple of ARs and a sniper rifle. If you guys have watched my stream, you see that I run this HDR so much and we pop off with it. 
Um, I know a lot of people think that the HDR is kind of a slow, heavy sniper. You can't really play aggressive with this thing. Give these attachments a try. I'm going to pop them up for you right now. You will see that you can actually play very aggressive with this gun and you have maximum range. That's what I love the most about this. There's no awkward distance on this up close. It's still effective. You can still quick scope pretty decently with this. It's not a car 98. Don't get me wrong, but you can make it work. Look how fast the scope is. It's not slow by any means. So you can you can pop off a couple of quick shots with this um but you also the way that's set up we still have that maximum range so those long range shots for the car and the ax50 they start to really fall off this that's where this shines so not only is it solid close mid-range but it's it, it is unstoppable at long range man basically no bullet fall off you just aim at heads and you just drop them all right guys so that's gonna be my top five guns from the start of season five Hopefully you found this video helpful and maybe found a new gun that you can go give a try. Let me know how that goes if you do. Um, also, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave that like, comment, subscribe. And we can catch you guys in the next video. All right. Peace out.